Hey, I'm back with your answers. Come on, come with me. <laughs> Hi, Nick. Um, good question. I am um, completely reborn. I, I am um, happy, I'm focused, I have a lot more energy. Oh, that's a good thing or a bad thing. Um, I'll never be a Buddha, I'll never be a monk, I never preached I would be. Um, I'm just being me and being happy in my life. I and mean, I've got a lot more things um, I want to do in my life and unfinished business. Support, um, yeah, I mean, I've had a few phone calls and texts and stuff, you know, and um, my mate Noel, my bro Noel, and uh, I've had a lot of support from Chris, Chris Martin, which has been really, really nice, you know, um, and stuff, you know, just want to see me back out there and that, and uh, like, yeah. Yeah, been, been really supportive. Tricky Trev, am I happy to get my songs out there? Um, yes, of course I am. And it's, you know, the world's a different place now. Everything's changed. It's a completely whole new world we live in. And I just want to give what I can to the world to listen to. Hi, Katrina. What song do I most connect with on The Reckoning? Um, it's a good question. I think, you know, all the songs have got a connection with me, obviously, because I've written them. Um, there's, there's, the, the songs vary from what they mean to me, the, you know, it varies, you know. They, they've all got different parts that mean things to them, so, certain lyrics, certain ways of the song, you know, so the, it varies. James, great question. Um, inspiration? Yeah, of course. It, you can hear it all through the album and just being on my own and starting again. I just had to um, break free. Be a reckoning because it's the last bit of the album and it's, it kind of just goes into the abyss, you know, and it's very sentimental. And you can hear it yourself, you know, make your own mind up about it, but mine's the reckoning. Hi, Stephen. Good question. I have a lot of tracks that didn't make the album and, and there's plenty more that are hidden. So I haven't even thought of that album too yet, so what kind of question is that? I mean, I'm only just, I've only just come out, you know, my mum's womb. What the hell are you doing, Steve? <laughs> um, there, there will be a second album, but I don't know when, I don't know how, and I don't know, I can't give you a time schedule for it, but you know, there will be. Peter! My favourite place to perform is Japan. Because you know why? Because they bring you loads of toys and things and gifts and stuff out, and it's just mental. It, it, it's mental. It's a blast, you know. I've, I've had a lot of um, great times in Japan throughout the years. Yeah, good memories, happy memories, but Japan's fantastic to tour. Yeah. Arigato! <laughs> Hello, Ricky. That, 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 that's a really nice question. Yeah, you know what I do before I go on stage? I um, say a little prayer to whoever's upstairs. How hard was it rehearsing with a new band? You know what? Um, it's not about how hard is it. It's about um, getting the feel and the energy of the, of the, of the musicians, the people around you, and, and, and making it as good as you can. Um, I mean, of course it was different to like, you know, the, um, the old band and stuff. Of course it is because, you know, I'm starting again. But um, it just, you know, fitted on like a glove on a hand, really. And you know, all we had to do was, you know, we, we had the other mechanical parts. Just had to oil them and make sure the machine works, you know. Hello, Ethan. If you have a VIP ticket, you will hear me singing some songs of a request made by you or your partner or whoever's with you or I'll pick one myself, and then we have photos in the chat, and we see the, um, the sound check. Hello, Giza. Um, good question. I don't really know at the moment, but I think we should find out in a matter of time. Get straight back to you on that. Hopefully, I will play in um, South America, America, Japan, and Australia in the near future, most definitely. Yes, Andy, would I like to play Glastonbury again? What do you think, Andy? Yes. <laughs> Lee, my favourite UK venue, and do I 
prefer smaller gigs or bigger gigs. The, the small ones are amazing, they're intimate, I get it. Uh, the people feel like they're with you a lot more, it's a bit more close up. Um, the, the you know, stadiums are incredible, you know, arenas, whatever you want to call them. No, you know, each gig's different. Whatever size, whether it's 10,000 or 100,000, you know, they're, they're a show, you know. Treat them with all respect. Gareth, what's my favourite venue in Leicester? Um, it's gone now, it was the Charlotte. When I was 17 and I was young, it was the place to play. And I, you know, I see Coldplay there. We supported Top Loader there when I was in Kasabian. Um, which, you know, happy days. I remember playing the Charlotte. We were the first band to be banned from the Charlotte. That's that, one for you. The owner of the Charlotte, um, who well, I knew really well, dearly well, and there, uh, he passed away, God rest his soul, not long ago. So he was a really nice guy and he believed in the music and, and, and the scene and he was really into it. You know, he was a really, really nice, a fucking amazing guy, actually. You know, nothing but amazing and happy memories, man, you know, apart from getting barred. Ha, ha, ha.